Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Log Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host, Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. Really do appreciate all the love and support uh, lately. Sorry about how not having any uh, videos here in a while. I've been super busy at work. And of course, always my health is a concern, but if you are new around here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And let's talk about the announcements that happened. Two big announcements here um, on 5.11.20, introducing new champions and changing some things up in the game. And then uh, the big announcement here today about battlegrounds and artifacts. So let's go ahead and talk about these real quick. Uh, the first announcement you guys know about this the high the highly anticipated requested preset feature now you can set up 15 team compositions really really awesome um, as well as they added some languages to the game corridor has a new hero dr frank um, available from the special offers the special event and campaign order 812 thank you so much for putting on uh, carry him on that node that is a great node one of the best nodes in the game uh, gives us a lot of really really great stuff um, as well uh, and let me, I'm just gonna pull the get the game get my game going here while we're while we're talking about this oh Put that away um, added some in-game news so now when you pop up the you know when you pop it up it actually shows you what the patch notes were in the game which was pretty cool uh, Ren the Unseen was added to the tournament shop which is awesome so we can start farming uh, Ren the Unseen added some new languages to the game such as French German Korean um, and that sort of thing uh, you can change your preferred language in the game settings auto battle AI now pri prioritizes heroes over summoned creatures this is a very very interesting change and in a good change overall um a good change overall i think for the game uh it certainly makes more doom less valuable in uh a little less valuable in arena however <laughs> there have you guys have been playing especially at the top part of arena um it, it doesn't seem to really change the fact they just simply if you speed Kara up and make her you know fast you can get your demons out there um you can get those little guys out there taking the sh shots anyway um once you go invisible and so it just uh, makes it so you have to focus more on getting uh making Kara faster um so you get the kind of the same idea um Auto. Uh, summon creatures no longer have class tags, only race and faction. Battle Poo is no longer a defender, red is no longer a mage, and green is no longer a healer, and Poom is no longer a warrior. And I don't think that's a problem at all. I think that's a good thing. Um, certainly uh, having a lot of summons out there, as we all know with more Doom, you can end up having a ton of you know red or green out there. And so I think that's a good chance to the game. We continue to improve the enhancements of the graphics in the game and updated Venomate and Mar. Uh, uh, makers, they are fantastic. Uh, fixed uh, Slinger's liter leadership ability. Uh, fixed an unknown error that it caused when leaving the battle in the middle of an uh, uh, caused when leaving the battle in the middle of an attack animation. So that's really good. Let's look at the difference in the art here, just for a second. I mean, the art is good in this game. I mean, it's good, but look at that. So much better. Just absolutely awesome. And this is a great little meme before quarantine, after quarantine. That's really awesome. Uh, let's talk about, um, let's talk just a moment here. And as I pull up, um, as I go ahead and pull up the game, uh, let's talk about Dr. Frank. He's a goblin healer. Um, little, I was a little shocked, to be perfectly honest, when, uh, when, well, he was released to the game instead of Thanessa. Um, I was a little shocked by that, uh, considering she's been teased, of course, in the game for a long time, just sitting there um, as an unlock at 50 shards, but they did not release her into the game, so I was a little shocked by that. But Dr. Frank is actually pretty good. Uh, if you haven't had the opportunity to unlock him yet, um, I would suggest you to do so. You have only a little while left before the game uh, uh, winds up, before we have to get uh, this lovely gal right here, right, Dal Daliana, um, you know, 10 days, 10 hours from the recording of this video right now, they're very, very interesting times, uh, so let's look at Dr. Frank, so if you, if you want to look, if you want to look at Dr. Frank with me just for a second, so We'll go ahead and just pull up my goblins. And this is where I am at with my goblins. Um, Instructor Gorm 
General Murdoch instructed Gore Major shot Adam and Dr. Frank. I am currently farming Dr. Frank. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and run the rest of these. Um, you know, I am almost close to unlocking, but look at this node. As I was saying before, uh, Knight's Galt, Punisher, and then of course, Curse Madness is uh, very, very cool. And Dr. Frank. But let's look at Dr. Frank's abilities real quick. Uh, deals 220% damage to an enemy and inflicts shock for two turns. If the target is affected by shock, uh, uh, is afflicted by shock or affected by shock, uh, they are uh, affected by days for two turns. Uh, so. A very interesting ability there. Shock is a big deal. Uh, and then, of course, his uh, ability, his AoE ability, 300% of all magic damage to all enemies inflicts shock for two turns. So very nice there as well. Um, and and then, of course, his healing ability, which I think is very, very interesting. Uh, the only character who actually restores shields, 350% um, uh of you know, his magic damage to the shields of all allies and then restores health equivalent to 50% of the shields restored. Now, of course, there, you know, uh, he can do it now to everyone. It's not the only, he's not the only one who restores shields, but he restores shields to everybody. And so that's a huge, huge bonus. Um, and then, of course, if a goblin attacks an enemy with shock, another random goblin will be called to assist. If the attacker is Dr. Frank, two goblins uh, will be called to assist. Um, and it only works once per turn. So that's pretty good. I, I think he's going to be a really interesting character. Um, I I think that it, I, I do like him. I do think that he's going to be interesting. His animations and art are really cool. I like the multiple eyes. Um, so really interesting, really interesting. So let's get on to what we really want to talk about here today. Um, and that is uh, Battlegrounds coming up and Artifacts. Um, not that long ago, the game, they announced the ba uh, Battlegrounds for the game. Uh, with the new game mode, uh, they're going to be announcing artifacts. Artifacts are a new type of item uh, that are used to customize heroes to your liking, similar to runes. Uh, these are more amplified um, uh, to certain stats of your heroes. However, their artifacts are more powerful than runes and contain unique passive abilities. Uh, artifacts really can change uh, your gameplay, for instance. You can give uh, a chance to counterattack to a hero who normally doesn't have that, or a chance to apply extra buffs to themselves, or even extra debuffs to enemies. Thus, artifacts can help you customize and adapt your favorite heroes. Uh, to a unique playing style. So this is going to be very interesting. I wonder how RNG dependent this will be, um, you know, that sort of thing. But I do find that this is going to be really kind of cool. If you come across artifacts and you will come across artifacts in battleground modes, in battleground shops and special artifact chests. So it looks like we may be able to, because they're special artifact chests, either they're going to have them in tournaments possibly, or they may be able to buy them. I don't really know. Um, but let's, we'll, we'll have to see what comes out. What are artifacts? Of course, they, it tells us here in the AFQs and I'll just go ahead and read these. Uh, so you guys don't have to. Um, artifacts are a new special kind of item that can be uh, used to upgrade and customize a hero and provide them with extra power and increased certain stats. What do artifacts do? Most artifacts let you upgrade one attack stat and one defense stat per hero. That's awesome. That seems pretty good. So two, two stats. Um, you can get artifacts from battlegrounds, battleground shops, and artifact chests. You'll also uh, be getting special keys for battleground victories with these keys you'll be able to open artifact chests. Okay. Um, so looks like you have the keys and you'll be able to open up, open up artifact chests. I am curious whether they're going to be available to purchase for, uh, you know, with drag coins or real world money. Um, that, that'll certainly change the landscape at the, you know, for the whales out there or for people who are trying to whale and whatnot. Um, are artifacts swappable and can I move them to a hero? Yes, you can. You can do that. Um, how different are they from rooms? First off, unlike rooms, artifacts do not have random stats. They are base, their base stats are set and the two stats per artifact. Most artifacts will have unique passive abilities. Do any artifacts have speed stats? No. 
the uh, artifacts do not have speed stats so that, that that's pretty emphatic uh, what stats do they have two stats depending on the artifact um, these stats can be damage shield health armor penetration life steal potency tenacity uh, crit damage crit chance accuracy so that's that's what they are uh, what kind of artifacts are there there are common uncommon rare and epic artifacts there will also be legendary artifacts in the future we plan to introduce about 30 artifact artifacts upon release how can i upgrade an artifact you can upgrade an artifact by to up to level 30 by feeding it artifact stones or spare artifacts you don't plan on equipping uh, besides that you can also raise the artifact star level okay uh, upgrade a star level you'll need to put several artifacts of the same type um, and star level in it okay excellent um, and as soon as I can start showing artifacts um, on the on the on off of the test server, we will do that uh, for you. How many are how many levels do artifacts have? Artifacts have 30 levels. How many stars? They have five. Uh, can I get artifacts if I don't want to take part of battlegrounds? Artifacts are available from battlegrounds and battleground store and the artifact chest. You'll also be able to get them from other places. So it sounds like there's other places. What those other places are, well, not sure. Uh, when are they going to appeal in game? They're going to appear together in battlegrounds so when battlegrounds comes out this is going to be something as a part of battlegrounds uh if you have any other questions um of how, how they work stay tuned to that uh game changers content channel and feel free to ask us and we'll be happy to update the afq later thank you so much um thank you so much uh for working on this game bringing us new content uh bringing us new things we're looking forward to battlegrounds uh just to kind of give you everybody i did play a um a battleground recently uh and it was a lot of fun um it was a lot of fun it's pretty fast uh pace it's kind of interesting i didn't really know what i was doing at first um but it is very very interesting and fun and i hope to be able to bring you some more gameplay of that um soon uh, hopefully we can do some more artifacts so if you have any questions or anything like that drop them down in the comments below i can get those over to the developers and talk to them myself on that if you have any um, if you have any thoughts or comments, drop them in the comments below. If you like this video at any time, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, drop a comment down below. As I've said before, subscribe uh, if you are new around here and hit that notifications bell. And we will see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.